Welcome to 140 by Talk to the Duck Dev. Today we'll discuss debugging of asynchronous code. One of the reasons I love Java is that it's so darn easy to debug. We just step into a method and we can move between threads. That's easy. But some of that is habit. In recent years, the approach of using async await and similar asynchronous techniques gained traction even in the Java realm. Debuggers kept up with this and let us see a glue together stack trace. Let's dig deeper. Here we have a standard async example from JetBrains that uses a list of tasks and just sends them to the executor to perform on a separate thread. Each task sleeps and prints a random number. Nothing to write home about. As far as demos go, this is pretty trivial. Here's where things get interesting. As you can see, there is a line that separates the async stack from the current stack on the top. The ID detected the invocation of a separate thread and kept the stack trace on the side. Then when it needed the information, it took the stack trace from before and glued it to the bottom. Uh, the lower part of the stack trace is from the main thread and the top portion is from the executed thread. Notice that this works seamlessly with swing, executors, string async, annotations, etc., etc. It's very cool. So how does that work? And what if I have custom code? It works by saving the stack trace in places where we know an asynchronous operation is happening and then placing it later on when needed. How does it connect the right traces? It uses variable values. In this demo, I created a simple listener interface. You'll notice it has no asynchronous elements in the stack trace. By adding the async schedule and async executor annotations, I can determine the point where an async code might launch, which is the schedule marker. I can place it on a variable to indicate the variable I want to use to look up the right stack trace. Uh, I do the same thing with execute and get a custom async stack trace. I can put the annotation on a method and the current object will be used instead. Check out talktoduck.dev and follow debug agent on Twitter to learn more. Thanks for watching.